So pretty much every machine shop does three, four, five axis machining. Today we're gonna to be at talking about enhancements to 2D milling. So how have you improved it? Yeah, as you say, Palmer, we've got a great reputation for all that advanced stuff, three axis milling, high speed milling, five axis crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, every one of those power mill programmers still has a need to do 2D simple machining. Every part, every mold is going to have some sort of whole pocket slot that needs to be cut. And so we've not lost sight of the fact that 2D is, an in, is a big part of programming. And so with the 2019, sorry, 2019.0 release of power mill, we, we've made some small but pretty substantial improvements to the 2D programming. Mm -hmm. The first is that um, 2D features can now be created just basically by selecting a surface. So in previous releases of Power Mill, you'd have to convert a surface to a piece of wireframe geometry and use the wireframe to drive the feature creation. It's just extra time and effort. But with the latest releases of Power Mill, you literally click a surface and Power Mill intelligently analyzes the model, figures out what type of feature it is and creates the appropriate feature geometry for you. So we've got time savings where it's just easier, isn't it? It's just so Less, much easier yeah. so much, and faster as a, as a direct result of that. Yeah, less room for error. Yep, it, it avoids the chance that you've accidentally picked the wrong surface and created the wrong geometry. It just makes the whole thing more error-proof um, and faster. Mm. So auto feature recognition. It, it is. It's an interactive feature recognition. You're still having to pick the features that you want, um, but it is far more easy than it's been in the past. Mm -hmm. And the second enhancement we've got, as you can see with this particular video, is when we've selected a surface, this particular feature you can see is an open pocket. Mm -hmm. And so Palmer automatically analyzes and identifies that it's an open pocket and creates an open pocket type for you, mm -hmm. meaning that when you go to create your roughing strategy or your finished machining strategies, we intelligently know that we can approach the pocket from the open side and obviously generate a more efficient strategy as a result. So in, in, the leg, in legacy products, you would have to go in, create it as a, as a, a closed feature or pocket and you'd have to almost come back out and, and say, machine this face. Yeah, creating an open pocket inside Power Mill could have been easier in the past, and yeah. so we've identified that and made it easier now. There we are. 2D machining, who would have thought it? You can make it even easier. Yeah, there's still room for improvement, so keep watching this space. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Joe.